Very good. Send your legs really nice and long in front of you. And then already notice if you have a rotation through your hips, if they're rolling in, rolling out, try to adjust them so all 10 of your toes are facing up. Unlock your knees. They're not hyper locked out. Unlock them so there's gentle cushion in them. Then breathe in and hands up high. On your exhale, open twist to your right. I'm gonna place my left hand on the outside of my knee and notice how I'm not gonna let this knee dip in. This is my leverage, keep it tight. Then hand is going behind you. This aids me to sit up as tall as I can. Rib cage open, breathe in. On your exhale, use your hands as leverage to rotate and look past your shoulders. Stay here for a breath, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, watch the hands. Lift and rotate. We're looking for a twist in the spine. On your exhale, rotate open to the other side. Hand goes to the outside of your knee. Still, I'm pushing my knee into the hand just as much as I'm pushing the hand into the knee. Then my left hand, my yeah, left hand is behind me. Breathe in. On your exhale, follow the breath as you twist open, look past your shoulder. Use your body as leverage. Breathe in. Twist a little more as you breathe out. Inhale, hands lift to rotate. On your exhale, your knees are still cushioned. You guys see how much my knees are bent? With a flat back, hinge, 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 hinge. Arms are not going forward. You're doing your best to keep your arms up. Maybe even rotate your pinkies up and in. Breathe in. If this is too tight, you'll bend your knees a little more. Hinge a little forward. One more breath, breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, team. Hands, find your foot, ankle, ground, whatever is accessible to you. Now round your back and nuzzle your nose as close into your knee as you can. Toes are rotated up. Use your hands to stretch. You're creating a decompression through your spinal structure. All the way from your tailbone, you're creating more space for your spine. And guys, the weight of your head, if you use it right, it helps you lengthen. Gently, nod your head yes. Easy, shake it go. Okay, like cat spine, inhale one vertebrae at a time, roll your way up, roll, 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 roll. Inhale, lift all the way up. On your exhale, hands travel in line with your chest, palms face up. Use your strong core to activate on the count of five. So guys, it's pretty slow. On the count of five, we're going down to your back and to your elbows. Watch for five. Still active. Four, three, two, and elbows go behind you. Palms are on the ground. A reverse forearm plank on your elbows. Send your legs long, relax your hips. Cool. Rib cage. Inhale, lift, pop up your chest, lift your chin, you're opening your pectorals. Because if you think about it, what do you do throughout the day for most of the day? Right? This is a good reverse. Counteractor. Counteractor? I don't know if that's the word. Breathe in. Breathe out. Cool, now we'll add movement. Inhale, rib cage, lift and open. Exhale, round the top of your chin, roll your shoulders in. You up two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Option one, this is it. I would like for you to go really, really slow and follow your breath. Do five to six more. If you don't have any tools, this is your spot. If you do, you can either find your long foam roller. In that case, this guy is gonna go a long ways along my spine. Make sure your head is supported. If you do not have a foam roller, you're gonna do the same with your blocks. You're gonna stack them together like this, like it's imitating the length of your spine. And then guys, you're gonna slowly lower your way down to it. Foam roller or blocks, your head is supported. What I mean is it's not hanging back. Long neck. Okay. When you get to this spot, guys, again, if you don't have this, you're still in that fish pose. 
if you are taking this, hands open out to a 90 by your side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let gravity take those shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out. Move an inch up. Reach overhead. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Gentle. Inhale, pull your hands back through center. Meet everyone in that fish pose as you roll your way back up. Forearms underneath you. Okay, team. Inhale, push into your hands and lift your chest up. Long arms, lift the core. Breathe in. Good. Bring it to a neutral spine. Breathe out. We're still working on your pecs. Well, I'm going to start from foam roller to block to ball. If you have either or, or any of it, find it. You should have some socks instead of the ball, right? So you have at least a bundle of your socks. Okie dokie. We're going to flip to your belly. Bring your foam roller or block or ball diagonally across. So guys, what we're looking for is your pectoral muscles down here. We're not going for your shoulder pad and we're not going for your boobs, okay? We're going right in between tissues. Your foam roller is this way and then you're gonna lay on it. Option, your block on its knife edge this way, you're gonna lay on it. Or if you have a lacrosse ball, I'm so sorry, this is gonna suck a little. You're gonna put that guy same place and lay on it. If you have a lacrosse ball or softball, any kind, and a block, Put that guy on there, elevates it, and then so ball, block, you on top. Whatever you're gonna take, find that. Okay, let's do a quality check. Not bones, but tissues. You're going for your pecs, yes? Right hand at 90 degree angle. Okay, guys, inhale, reach, get long. On your exhale, pull. Oh, wee. if you're doing it right, this sucks a little. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. Keep going. Follow your exhale as you pull. Do a few. So guys, these muscles get really tight. And what happens is that if you don't use it, A, you lose it. They don't stay strong for you. But also, when, when muscles are not being moved, they get tight and short. And as they're to the front all the time, they start to pull your entire upper body forward. The weight of your head becomes, because this is 12 pounds when it's stacked on your neck. If it moves two inches forward, guys, it becomes 32 pounds for your neck to hold. If it moves four inches forward, it's almost 42 pounds that your neck has to hold. So that becomes really tough. And then your back aches, and it's really all starting from your pecs being tight. Open it. Take another breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Owie. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Same idea, whatever you're working with, you're still doing the same. I'd like for you to roll over to your side. You're gonna move this foam roller, block, or ball underneath your lat. So it's the muscle that's like right, right here. Yes, we're not going for bones, we're going for tissue. Now, if you're on your hip bone, roll a little bit backwards so you're on the fleshy side of your butt, and then like you're chilling on the beach, put your hand behind your head. Left hand in front of you. And guys, watch. We're gonna go front and back. Ooh, <laughs> front and back. Front and back. Cool. Now the reason why, keep going, your breath is so important is A, that's how you make your energy. The more oxygen you pull in, the more ATP you generate in your tissues, the, ener the more energized, the more focused, the more alert you feel. We need that. Breathe really well. But also, as you're going through the places that are like, owie, and, and you should be feeling that, oxygen helps you break your pain pathways apart. The better you feel, the better you breathe, the better that's going to feel, the less owie it'll be. If you hold your breath, that's going to suck a lot. Breathe in. 
breathe out. Ooh, breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, same idea to the other side. Be gentle, oh wait, I lied. Foam roller, edge of your block or your ball is going to the bottom part of your elbow. Hands on or hands on the ground. You're gonna go get long, lean down and push this muscle open, then lift up. Lean, lift. Support your head, lean, lift. Now add the breath. Inhale, lean, get long. Exhale, short. Inhale, lean. If you're digging into your tricep with a ball, kudos to you. One more. Woo. Got it. Gentle release, and we switch all of this out. Block, ball, or foam roller, diagonally across. So it's going down, just like this. Chin downwards under your left. Oh, yeah. oh not bones tissues not your boobs ladies either just right above wiggle it out of the way okay support left hand at a 90 we go inhale reach push those pecs and shoulders in exhale pull oh okay be kind inhale reach exhale pull follow the breath inhale reach exhale pull Keep going. Now we're starting to understand through science how much your breath and the rhythmic pattern that you have or do not have actually matters. Your diaphragm is now understood that it's an organ. It's made of skeletal tissue, so we used to think it's a muscle. It's an organ that actually connects your brain to your body. Your diaphragm helps you breathe. It gets shorter, longer, shorter, longer, shorter, longer. It's what pumps your lungs. Now, as that guy moves with the rhythmic pattern, it dictates what mood you're in. It's connected to your brain. When you're not breathing, and now there's a new thing called laptop or email apnea, where you guys literally forget to breathe. You're so consumed in what you're doing. It causes agitation through your system. It causes agitation, irritation in your mind. Your mood goes When you long eat your breath, like we do in yoga, you're literally over oxygenating your system, right? Your SO2 goes 100%. And so your brain is really happy. Hence, your mood is also better. You're more relaxed. You can focus a little better. You can be a lot more efficient. You don't feel so overwhelmed. Hence, starting your day with breathing really well sets you up for success. Okay, guys. Roll to your left side. Put this guy under your left. Edge of your block or your ball. You're not on your hip bone, but on the fleshy side of your bottom. Put your hand behind your noggin, support it. Hand in front and we're gonna go forward and back. Oh, forward oh. and back. Cool, breathe. On a scale of one to 10, we're looking for about a seven discomfort. If it's much over, if it's much more over that, then you might wanna be a little kinder. Just release a little. We're looking for a little bit of pain, right? Because that discomfort is where change is, but we're also not trying to break some bones. Breathe. One more breath. Ooh. Okay, block, foam roller, or ball, right underneath the elbow, minding it's right, look here, it's your tricep, okay, not the bone, but that tissue, that muscle right here. Okay, rib cage goes, dip, we're just looking for an elevation, and lift, breathe, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. When you breathe in, your rib cage also opens and your intercostal muscles on your side go longer when we push, right? We're matching the movement to breath. And then when you lift up and exhale, they get a little shorter. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more good one. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Nicely done, you guys. Push your way all the way up to a seat. Okay. Oh. How are we doing? So far, so good? You still with me? Okay. Legs go in front of you and then watch. We're gonna start here. Right leg long, left knee, bring it back to a hurdler step. If you look at it from the side, it looks like this. As long as you can bring it out with your hip, so it's not super high up, do your best to wiggle it back as far as you can. Just do your best. Then your knee behind you is gonna open to a 90. Foot in front of you, bend to a 90. You see this? Front, angle, 90 degrees. Back, angle, 90 degrees. It's not so tight. Open it. Okay. Frame your right knee and sit up as tall as you can. Breathe in. On your exhale, hinge forward and push that right glute into the ground. Try to keep your back long. Inhale, lift. Now watch, hands travel one in. It goes to my knee and other knee, so it's on the inside of the square. Breathe in. Exhale, hinge. It's almost like I'm trying to stamp my heart to my front heel. Alley. Inhale, lift. Now this is gonna be a little awkward. You're gonna try your best. Rotate to the left knee, opening up your side. I know this feels a little pinchy. As long as it's not cramping, you're doing it right. If it's cramping, wiggle it a little higher. Make it work for you. Breathe in. On your exhale, let a little shrimp curl into it. Ooh, you should feel an extreme stretch on your right side. Inhale, lift. Rotate back to where we started. Option one, use your hands, move through three rounds of breath. Dip. Inhale, lift, exhale, hinge, yes. Option two, hands behind your noggin. Let's get it, both hands up, breathe in. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate and hinge. Woo. Inhale, lift, owie. Exhale, rotate, nice job, and hinge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, put your hands behind you wherever you are. Keep your knees at that 90 and we go flip. Yes, flip. Roll over your bottom. Flip, follow your breath. Do at least five. This is option one. You're pushing your chest open. Hands behind you are like kickstands as you're lifting your rib cage. Just like how we practice in that fish pose. Or if you're like, okay, I really wanna activate my core this morning. Then hands in through your chest and go get them. Flip. Flip. <laughs> Flip. Do two more. Nice. Last one. And back on the same side. Right knee is still in the front. Same side. Okay, guys. Frame your front foot. This should be your right knee. Left knee is on the side. Ready, set. So excited. Left knee go. Lift. I know. Put it down lift put it down match your breath keep going so here's the deal everything works in synergy meaning if one side is really really tight and it's usually our inner thighs right ladies as you sit cross-legged for most of the day our inner thighs get really really tight and then that tilts your hips forward causes back posture in your back causes hinging forward c-shape in the spine i know it, it really gets us good so by activating the outside, if I'm lifting and squeezing my TFL, then that automatically opens up my inside. It's opening up your hips. Do two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Do another. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Okay, best one yet. Lift and hold. Squeeze. Option one, you stay. Option two, hands to chest. Yay. Breathe. Option three, who's excited? Lift the foot off the ground. You're here for three. You're here for two. For one. Put it down and let's go get it. Flip. 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 Nice job. Land all the way over to your left side. And guys, all we gotta do is even you out. 90, 90 C. Sit up tall. Left knee is in the front. Right knee is to the side and open. Chest up, use your hands to push, breathe in. Heart to knee, hinge. This side's so much more open for me. The other side is really tight. Inhale, lift. Right, it's not always even, you gotta figure out what could use a little more, what could use a little less. Hinge. 
inhale, lift. Okay, shrimps, rotate and curl. Ooh. Sweet. Round two, roll back all the way to the front. Option one, you're gonna go through the same thing. Follow the breath or hands up. Breathe in. Exhale, hinge. Oh. Inhale, lift. Rotate, exhale, hinge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate, shrimps. Oh. Inhale, lift. Hands behind your back or no hands. Let's go, four flips, hit it. Flip, four, three, thanks hips, two, and one. You're landing on the same knee, left knee forward. You can kickstand or hands up, up to you. Right knee in the back, ready, set, here goes. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Let's go four. Three, you guys are doing great, nice job. I know these are not easy, they're not meant to be. Last two. Last one and hold it, squeeze, 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 we're here for five. Four, three, two, one. Put it down, hands behind you, go get them, flip. Flip. Can you stamp that knee all the way down? Rotate, it opens your hip flexor. Got it, for three, for two, for one. Nice job, okay guys. Send your legs nice and long in front of you. Shake them out. Sweet. What I'd like for you to do is everyone find your ball or socks. You for sure have one or one or the other, yes? Stand up tall. Ball or socks, down on the ground. The ball mount of your foot. So if I, here I come. If we were to break your foot into three parts. One, two, three, yes? Put it right here, like right where the squishy part of your foot is and then right where it connects. Ball or socks, right there. Heel is on the ground. Okay, on a scale of one to 10, step on it to a seven. Now look at your foot and toes, spread them. Ooh, crunch them. Spread. Crunch. Spread. Crunch. Go five. Match your breath. Four. Three. We're waking up your foot. Two. Ooh. Last one. Okie dokie, step on it like you mean it. Then like we're in the 70s, do the twist. Do the twist, do the twist, do the twist. Good. We're looking for a rotation through your hip joint. Pushing through that foot. Push, 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 push for three, two, one, relax. Nice job, find your other foot. So here's the deal. We don't only have muscles and bones, but we have a whole lot of other stuff that happens in our body, right? We have tendons ligaments, we have fascia, and our fascia is our, your connective tissue. That's where your blood, your circulation travels through. Now imagine when you're lifting heavy weights, you get calluses in your hands. I'm sure that you have either seen someone or you've experienced it yourself. And as you walk around on your feet all day long, God forbid you wear shoes all day, God forbid there are heels all day, ladies, the fascia in your foot gets really tight, okay? which means that's not carrying enough circulation. And if your feet are not happy, then everything else I guarantee you is not very happy either. This helps you break some of that fascia apart as you're pushing in there. When you release, it's like a flood of oxygenated blood that rushes back into your foot. Let's get it, bomb out of your foot, step on it. Put some pressure into it, please. And toes go spread, crunch, spread. Crunch, let's go, spread, crunch, do three, two, Woo! ow, last one, <laughs> that sucks, okay, step on it, ready, set, and do the twist, 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 yes, here we go, five, that feels so hot, four, 
three, I mean temperature, two, <laughs> last one, relax. Very good, guys. Shake out your feet. Nicely done. Okay. Walk your feet hip width. Inhale, hands up high. This is it. Exhale with a flat back and cushion knees. They're not locked out. Cushion knees, forward fold. Okay. Relax your head, rest your head, or rather your hands down to the ground. And guys, before I say goodbye, I want you to notice how's your leg? How's your back? Breathe in. Breathe out. If it feels at all more open, a little freer, a little looser than you have done your job, breathe in. Breathe out. Reset your back, halfway lift. Exhale, tuck, round, and curl. Happy Thursday. Nice job, guys. Thanks for playing. Sweet. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I hope that you found something in there that worked for you. Um, what do you guys think? Thank you.